Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's web seminar. My name is Greta Carlson, and I am a marketing specialist at National Communication Services, Inc. Thank you all for attending today. We know your time is valuable, and we're very pleased today to share more about Microsoft's recently released Skype for Business Cloud PBX plus PSTN conferencing, which is part of the newly released Office 365 E5 product. We are very excited to be partnering with Audio Codes and Microsoft for this event. And on behalf of the NCS team, I would like to welcome you all and thank you for attending. Let me cover off on a few housekeeping items before I introduce our two speakers. As a reminder, this presentation is being recorded. We will be making the recording and the slide deck of the webinar available to you at the end of the presentation. It will be uploaded to the NCS website. And we however, we encourage you to stay until the end when we distribute event evaluation forms electronically as there are terrific raffle prizes we are offering to our attendees today. We would appreciate you taking a moment to fill out the evaluation form at the end of the event and your completed survey is your raffle entry to win one of our three prizes from Sennheiser and a gift card from Audio Codes. If you have any questions or technical difficulties during or after the event, please email info at ncsoffice.com. Once again, info at ncsoffice.com. Thank you again for your time today as we discuss modern communications solutions. Now, I would like to introduce our speakers today. Dan Trimble is the General Manager of Sales, Marketing, and Business Development at National Communication Services, Inc. You will also be hearing from Peter Gerstenhaber, the Senior Sales Engineer for the Western Region of Audio Codes. Both of today's presenters are experts in these digital technologies and will be available to answer any and all of your questions at the email addresses listed here. Dan will be getting us started off today uh, with today's presentation material. So without further ado, let me now turn the presentation over to Dan. Okay, Greta, thank you very much for the introduction and thank you everybody uh, for attending our webinar today. We have a lot of great information for you and uh, we hope that you find it valuable and interesting. And as Greta had mentioned, uh, please do submit any questions to info at ncsoffice.com and we will get back to you with answers to those questions. Um, I'd like to roll through our agenda today. We're going to talk about uh, Microsoft's uh, uh, new Office 365 Skype for Business uh, Cloud PBX technology. And I will provide an overview, overview for you on the, um, the capabilities embedded within that, that offer. And, uh, and then how do you get there? We'll talk about how you get there. Uh, and there's, there's various ways that you can approach um, deploying to a cloud or moving to a cloud-based a platform for your uh, PBX needs and requirements. And uh, Audio Codes uh, has a method for helping you get there or migrating uh, to Skype for Business. So Peter Gerstenaber will be uh, talking about that solution set and, and how you can approach that from an Audio Codes perspective. And then last but not least, um, back to National Communication Services, uh, I will share a little bit of information about our company and the NCS Connect solutions and services that we offer to our customers um, as a Microsoft uh, Gold Communications Partner and Solutions Integrator, specializing in their communications platforms and cloud-based technologies. Back to the uh, Microsoft uh, Office 365 Cloud PBX um, overview, we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, fundamentals. First of all, what is a PBX? What is PSTN? These are some acronyms that get used and tossed around quite a bit in this discussion. So I want to make sure that we have a level set on, on those acronyms, and then we'll get into an actual Cloud PBX overview, talk a little bit about Skype broadcast meeting, which is a technology that we're using here for today, delivering this webinar. And then we'll speak a little bit about PSTN conferencing and then uh, some different methods for delivering uh, actual uh, on-premise and Microsoft provided uh, PSTN services, i.e. phone company types of services. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and advance to the next slide. And first of all, let's talk about Link or Skype for Business and, and how we know it today. And, you know, I guess I, I, I don't know if I should assume that everybody attending this call is familiar with, with Link or Skype for Business, but essentially what we have here on this uh, presentation slide is an image of the Skype for Business client, uh, which you will see to the right. 
Um, it's a unified communications platform that provides a variety of different multimedia communications modalities, including instant messaging and presence, voice calling, video calling, the ability to do complete desktop and document sharing, and the ability to integrate or federate with other companies that also subscribe to, uh, to the service or to the uh, technology. Um, it, it is available as an online service or has been available as an online service uh, through Microsoft Office 365 as a peer-to-peer -peer type of environment, but has not always supported the ability to, uh, through, through the online version, has not supported the capability of uh, placing, you know, direct calls through the public switch telephone network. And uh, so up to this point, um, the only uh, option that one had available for uh, doing that, for deploying, um, uh, uh, you know, Skype for Business as your actual phone system uh, was to deploy an on-premise based solution. Moving on, I want to set a little, I, I mentioned I want to do level set on what is a PBX. Well, a PBX is essentially it's your phone system. Um, PBX is old school uh, vernacular for private branch exchange. And that uh, term has been used for many, many years or decades actually, um, but essentially it is your phone system. So when we talk about um, cloud PBX, we're really talking about a hosted phone system, if you will, from Microsoft. So you'll hear us refer to Cloud PBX throughout this presentation, and that's what we're really talking about is, is a Microsoft hosted phone system based solution. So what is the PSTN? Um, again, a bit of old school nomenclature here, but uh, uh, PSTN is the public switch telephone network. Think of it as the phone company. So it's the uh, phone company that you uh, subscribe to for local dial tone that is then connected to your phone system or your PBX, if you will, uh, so that you can place calls and receive calls to and from uh, the outside world over the public switch telephone network. So PBX and PSTN are two uh, common references that you'll hear throughout this presentation. And my hope is that um, we've uh, given you enough explanation here as to what those are so that it makes sense uh, throughout the remaining portion of the presentation. So Cloud PBX with Office 365. So what is it? Well, Cloud PBX is, as I mentioned earlier, it's a hosted PBX, but what does that exactly mean? A PBX is your phone system. Um, it can be a large phone system, a small phone system. It can be hosted or it can be on premise. Typically they're installed or deployed on premise. And a PBX really is what enables um, call control within an environment. So things like the ability to answer a call, place it on hold, transfer that call, have calls route or call forward to voicemail or to other destinations. It supports E164 dialing. Well, what is that? E164 dialing is basically 10 digit dialing and, and the routing of digits to get your, your call uh, to its destination. So E164 dialing. So really the PBX is the mechanism that enables all of those capabilities. So, um, you know, how is it different? I mean, in the past, um, uh, you, you know, in the past, uh, you know, Skype for Business was, uh, was required, if you wanted it to be your PBX, it had to be deployed on premise. Uh, Microsoft did not have the ability to connect Skype for Business or previously Link to the public switch telephone network. So although you could subscribe to Link or Skype for Business online, um, that was great and, and, and you were able to use that for peer-to-peer -peer communication between other people within your organization that also subscribe to Link or Skype for Business Online. But when it came to placing an outside phone call uh, to a business partner or a customer or whatever, uh, that was the limitation. So um, today uh, with, with Cloud PBX, Microsoft uh, is answering that, that dilemma. They are providing the capability uh, through Microsoft or through your own local PSTN or service provider uh, to provide that dial tone component that allows you uh, through hosted uh, Cloud PBX to place calls through the public switch telephone network. Microsoft's value proposition around this is, you know, it's a single integrated platform. That's where they ultimately envision it uh, as getting to. And uh, it will eventually eliminate the need for separate on-premise PBXs. Uh, whereby, you know, eventually you will be able to host your entire voice communications platform in the cloud. 
Of course, what this does is it moves things from a traditional capital expense model where you would purchase that PBX and amortize it over a period of time uh, from a depreciation perspective and whatnot, or I should say maybe depreciate it over a period of time. Uh, this really moves it more into a subscription service like all of the other Office 365 workloads, such as Exchange Online and SharePoint Online and Office Professional Online and so on. Cloud PBX now becomes an online subscription service that falls into an operating expense model as opposed to a capital expense model. So some of the business benefits centered around this would be things like being able to consolidate IT management. So for example, through a single um, system administration portal uh, where you could administer Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and so on, uh, you would now be able to also administer your PBX functionality through that same uh, user interface or administration interface. And so uh, cons consistency there and simplification. Uh, lower total cost of ownership over time as that operational model um, provide, provides you to ex, you know enjoy those operating expenses as opposed to having to uh, make large capital investments and then upgrade those and maintain those and staff resources to uh, uh, take care of the ongoing operation of the platform. Of course, Office 365 integration is a key component. Um, you know, uh, through, through uh, instant messaging and presence and integration with Outlook and Exchange and, and so on, uh, SharePoint, uh, Dynamics uh, for CRM, uh, the, the integration across the, uh, micro, the entire Microsoft Office 365 portfolio is seamless. And then, of course, you know, some of the key aspects of, of Skype for Business, regardless of whether it's uh, hosted or uh, on-premise, you know, things like being able to support a mobile workforce um, for example, um, it is really an ideal platform to create a ubiquitous and seamless experience across the entire enterprise, regardless of number of geographic locations and regardless of the location of uh, employees, whether they're work at home, uh, road warriors, traveling, uh, what have you. Really, it's a, a seamless access uh, from anywhere at any time from virtually any device. So there are several deployment options to take into consideration when thinking about Cloud PBX. First of all, Cloud PBX may or may not be uh, the right solution from every, for everyone day one. Uh, Microsoft just announced Cloud PBX uh, and made it generally available back on December 1st of 2015. So it's really been on the market now for about four, four and a half months. And so from that perspective, it is still going through a bit of an evolution from a development and from a, an additional feature enrichment perspective. So there are scenarios where a pure online hosted cloud PBX um, scenario uh, may make sense for an enterprise today. Uh, but there are also scenarios, uh, you know, if, if a customer has highly high customization types of needs, contact center requirements, um, things that uh, require, you know, advanced calling features and things like that, and perhaps a pure on-premise solution would, would be what, what would make most sense today. But how do you put yourself into a position where you can eventually migrate from an on-premise solution to a pure online solution? And that's where the hybrid solution um, set may come into play, where we uh, start to introduce uh, Cloud PBX to a subset of users within the enterprise uh, that have uh, minimal uh, requirements uh, from a customization or an advanced feature set perspective and um, you know, in introduce uh, Cloud PBX to those users while maintaining an on-premise environment that offers those more robust capabilities uh, that the enterprise expects to see. So creating a hybrid environment really where you get a little bit of both uh, is a solution that we see quite often. Also from an integration perspective into Exchange and uh, unified messaging, uh, for, for voicemail and auto attendant and things like that. We oftentimes see hybrid approaches there where we're leveraging an on-premise Skype for business or link environment, um, for example, but using Exchange Online as the uh, voice messaging uh, component for that and, and the unified messaging component for that. So really three different scenarios, online, on-premise, or hybrid. So uh, from a Collaboration perspective, modern collaborations perspective, I'm going to uh, go through briefly uh, the different elements of Cloud PBX and the offerings that uh, the voice offerings that come along with that. So Skype meeting broadcast is the first and we're actually using that to deliver this webinar today. Skype meeting broadcast is 
a capability that Microsoft has rolled out and anybody or any customer that today has an Office 365 E1, E3 or E5 SKU automatically now has access to Skype meeting broadcasts. So this is something that you can deploy today at no added cost. So for example, if you are paying monthly subscription fees to a Cisco WebEx, for example, this might be an opportunity for you from a low hanging fruit perspective to offset that, that, that ongoing expense by deploying Skype meeting broadcast internally, which has no added cost uh, to you if you subscribe to those existing uh, Office 365 SKUs today. So um, Skype meeting broadcast is really just that. It's a broadcast modality. So it is intended to be a one to many type of a, of a communication method. So uh, envision the CEO of the organization addressing 2000 employees. Um, Skype meeting broadcast would be ideal for that. Really today, it can reach up to approximately 10,000 uh, end users, or I should say end participants uh, or attendees. Um, and and they, those attendees, of course, can can join from virtually any browser, whether it's you know Internet Explorer or uh, Google Chrome um, or uh, Safari or what have you. So Skype meeting broadcast, I consider that to be the low hanging fruit. If you have an E1, E3, or E5 Office 365 subscription today, you are entitled to deploy that in your organization now. PST and conferencing. So when we get into PST and conferencing, again, this is a public switch telephone network conferencing, right? Think about it as audio conferencing that you might subscribe to from a third party, because essentially that's what this is. It's the ability to do hosted conference calling, uh, uh, you know, uh, among many employees or many attendees, uh, either business partners, employees, customers, what have you, uh, as, a, as a hosted um, type of a conferencing service from Microsoft. It's dial-in conferencing uh, where you would, you know, have, have a seven digit or 10 digit, I should say, uh, uh, telephone number published. As you can see in the, the, the diagram here to the right, this happens to be a local uh, Redmond, Washington, United States uh, uh, telephone number that's published, but essentially within your Skype meeting that you would set up for the online meeting, um, you would have the telephone numbers listed for dial-in participants within that meeting invite. And when the time comes for the conference call, they of course would dial that number and enter the corresponding conference ID to join the call. Uh, PST and conferencing is available um, in about 30 countries today, I believe it is. And uh, there are dial-in countries that, uh, that, that, that can participate that extend beyond 30 countries. I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, Microsoft can currently sell PSTN conferencing into about 30 countries, and I've got a slide on this in a couple of moments, but there are about 45 countries that you can actually publish dial-in numbers for today. And within the United States, uh, dial-in numbers for every uh, state in terms of uh, uh, multiple area codes and prefixes to choose from within each state. From a Cloud PBX perspective, again, we talked earlier about, uh, or I talked earlier about this being call control. It's that actual hosted PBX uh, solution uh, that Microsoft is offering. And uh, this, of course, is, is available for purchase today. And um, we'll, we'll get into a little bit of timeline, or, or I, I guess I should say I've got a, 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 a chart that shows uh, its availability as well. But uh, Cloud PBX, again, that hosted PBX functionality. Now, having all that call control hosted in the cloud, so the ability to um, transfer calls and place calls on hold and route calls to voicemail and all that is great, but you still need to have access to the public switch telephone network. And this is where PST and calling comes into play. And Microsoft offers PST and calling now as a service provider. So uh, you can actually choose or select to have Microsoft be your phone company of choice, or you can continue to use the services from the existing service provider that you already subscribe to. Um, an example of why you might wanna stay with an existing service provider would be, uh, uh, let's say that you have MPLS services bundled with, uh, with uh, dial tone services from your local service provider, and uh, they're on a three-year contract. Well, if that contract still has a uh, term to go, or uh, if you were to unbundle those services that might have a negative cost impact, um, that would be a scenario where you might want to retain and leverage your own PSTN um, service provider and provide your own dial tone, essentially. 
alternately, you can certainly sign up with Microsoft today and have them provide the PSTN for you. And um, Microsoft then, of course, becomes your, your service provider or your phone company of choice. Of course, Microsoft offers area codes and prefixes within every state within the United States. Um, we will get into, again, a, 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 an availability um, uh, slide here in just a moment. But uh, with PST and calling, again, you've got the ability to have Microsoft uh, provide that for you or continue to use your own service provider. If you decided that you wanted to migrate to uh, Microsoft, uh, and, and move away from your existing service provider, um, of course, number porting is fully supported, and so you'd have the ability to do that as well. If you do wish to provide your own PSTN, uh, there are some additional requirements on site that need to be taken into consideration. In fact, just uh, the day before yesterday, Microsoft released its um, uh, new Cloud Connector Edition, as they refer to it. Cloud Connector Edition essentially uh, is uh, some software that you sit on a virtual machine uh, on site uh, that enables you to backhaul your, uh, your PSTN to the cloud. An example of PSTN calling with Microsoft is illustrated here where you have your customer premise to the left. We have uh, signaling taking place between the Office 365 environment and of course the actual media, which is the, the phone call itself that's occurring between the, uh, the cloud PBX hosted in Office 365 and then to the right, Microsoft actually provides the connectivity to the public switch telephone network. And then, of course, uh, on-premise PSTN connectivity is, is illustrated here, whereby, um, again, as I described before, you can provide uh, interconnectivity to existing um, telephony infrastructure, to existing PBX systems. Uh, you can, of course, subscribe to Office 365 for your Cloud PBX functionality and provide your own PSTN uh, through your on-site um, existing telephony infrastructure. This could be a PBX or perhaps a gateway, for example. And last but not least, from an availability perspective. So um, Skype meeting broadcast is available today worldwide. And as I mentioned earlier, this is kind of the low hanging fruit. So from that perspective, um, you can deploy this today if you already subscribe to Office 365 and have the E1, E3, or E5 SKU. PST and conferencing initially was rolled out supporting 15 geographies. And I think earlier I mentioned 30, but it's actually 32 geographies uh, PST and conferencing is available in today. Um, beyond that, um, Microsoft will continue to focus on uh, deployment in additional geographies as regulatory um, uh, approvals permit. So it's not a question of whether Microsoft has the technology to deploy this today. It really uh, gets down to regulatory approval and they are working diligently to gain additional regulatory approvals and in various countries where they don't currently have PST and conferencing available. Uh, and so I would expect that as the time continuum goes on here, you will see uh, many more countries added to the list. As I mentioned earlier, um, even though it's 32 countries today uh, where you can actually um, purchase or Microsoft can sell a PST and conferencing, there are about 45 countries where published telephone numbers can actually be listed as local dial-in numbers. Cloud PBX today, the call control, is available worldwide um, uh, as of December 1st, uh, 2015. However, PST and calling, Microsoft has rolled that out initially in the US only. So it's not an, uh, an available option outside of the United States just yet, but uh, that will come uh, as well, again, as Microsoft uh, gets additional um, uh, regulatory approvals uh, and so on. So from that perspective, my goal here today was to give you a high level um, overview of Cloud PBX and the various uh, subcomponents within that being the Skype broadcast meeting, PSTN conferencing, and of course, PSTN calling. So with that, uh, the, you know, the next question is, well, how do we get there? And so from that perspective, uh, what I'd like to do is hand the, uh, the microphone over to Peter Gerstenaber with audio codes and let Peter talk to you about migrating to Skype for Business via CloudBond, uh, which is a solution from audio codes. Peter, please take it away. Thank you, Dan, and I appreciate that introduction. Um, also, it was great hearing about Cloud PBX and the functionality that users can get from that today. 
what we'll be talking about moving on is how we get there. So right now today, Microsoft is offering Cloud PBX as a product that you can now start migrating users to. And that's the keyword. Um, so the way we look at it, it's actually a journey to the cloud. To get to the cloud for small companies, the journey might be one step. For larger companies, it's going to be several steps. For multinational companies, it's going to be slightly different. And it depends where you are in the continuum. Number one, if you are on a journey to the cloud, and or I should say if that's in your realm today because I'm a firm believer in the cloud. And number two, um, what are the requirements and does the cloud provide them or when will the cloud provide them? So taking a look at Skype for Business, there's several deployment options. On the left, there's we can have Skype for Business on-prem. Deploy the servers on-prem, deploy the telephony interconnect or the PSTN interconnect on-prem, and be able to have full functionality from that all provided by the servers on site. On the far right is Cloud PBX with PSTN. And here, everything is provided by the cloud. The users reside in the cloud. Uh, their identity resides in the cloud. And all the services come from the cloud. In the middle is probably where a lot of people will find themselves very quickly. So taking a look at it, the real question is, what are the services that the users require? And then can they be met by Cloud PBX? or do they need to be on-prem? So for many organizations, they'll have a class of user, which is going to be someone similar to me, which does not need advanced calling capabilities. I need very basic calling capabilities that Cloud PBX offers today. And there's a significant number of people in my organization that also fit into this category. We can all be Cloud PBX users, and we can still get services from the cloud. And within our organization, there's a whole set of other users that are not Cloud PBX, um, where they don't get the feature set that Cloud PBX has today. So they need an enhanced feature set. And because of that, they'll need to be on-prem. So there's the hybrid on the left column, which is for the users, what is the functionality they require. And then moving on is where are we going to get the telco from? So as Dan mentioned, we can get the telco from on-premise. And that's part of the hybrid solution. As you mentioned also, today, Cloud PBX is offered in the United States. What about for multinationals? How do they go and provide telco interface to the countries they're in? Local dial tone. And that's through the other kind of hybrid of how do I get voice into Cloud PBX? So taking a look at this, for some companies, the journey is going to be rather short to the cloud. And for others, it's going to take uh, quite some time as the services get to the cloud. Given that the cloud is a very agile environment and new features are being added all the time, there's a good probability that by the time you get to the cloud, a large part of your requirements will be met by the cloud. There still will be those requirements that require the underlying customization um, that is needed for on-prem. So taking a look at it today, um, Cloud PBX. Getting there, yeah, there's some obstacles. Um, so I don't know who has companies without current analog requirements or faxing requirements. Uh, analog phones can look like elevator phones, alarm systems, et cetera, that are part of the current technology that are used today within a company. So it's taking a look overall, what are the requirements for the company, whether I need to be able to have an interactive voice response system that would normally be supplied by a response group or other advanced calling features. If there's supplementary services that are required, we're going to be taking a look at how we can get them. 
And what we see here is what are those areas that are currently missing overall? Okay, this is not a detailed list at all. That give you an idea of where it is that we'll be looking to enhance cloud PBX by moving to the hybrid solution. Moving along, we'll take a look at hybrid voice, okay? And voice is slightly different than all the features. As everyone knows, um, this product, it provides a multimodal way of interacting with users or having users interact with it so they get a rich experience. So we'll be taking a look just at the voice part of it. So today, if you look at it, on-premise, there's going to be some um, on-premise equipment. Normally, Active Directory will be running also on presence. There will be synchronization between Active Directory and Office 365 Cloud. And then to have telephony interconnect, there's Cloud Connector Edition today. Um, one of the things it provides is existing PSTN and users can start migrating to Cloud PBX. With Cloud Connector, that's true for everything except for if it's online, if you have already today, Skype for Business on-prem. So if you have Skype for Business on-prem, we'll be taking another look at way of doing it. So moving from Skype for Business or a link to Cloud PBX, it's, well, it's taking a look at how we get there. And getting there will require another appliance, which is CloudBond. CloudBond provides all the features we were talking about previously, where we can stand up CloudBond, for instance, in a foreign country to be able to provide services for that country and integrate it seamlessly with our organization and Cloud PBX. So if I'm a multinational, and I want to provide, I don't know, conferencing in Asia. So to provide con conferencing in Asia, and I want it to be on-prem, then I would deploy Cloud on Near, and this would integrate seamlessly with Cloud PBX. With this, I'd be able to then start migrating users also from the current deployment over to Cloud PBX. So it provides a seamless way of migrating users to Cloud PBX. And for this, it's as simple as a couple of clicks, or it can be scripted to move groups of users to Cloud PBX. With this, it gives you the ability to start today to take advantage of the Cloud PBX experience and moving to the cloud and the full feature set that Skype for Business provides. Oh. So before we move to phones, I wanted to talk a little bit about what Cloud PBX is. Sorry, what Cloud Bond is. There's, I know I'm a little confused with all the clouds we're talking about. So Cloud Bond provides all the functionality of Skype for Business. So all the server roles are in this product. So for those of you that need a full on-prem Skype for Business, this is one way to go and then to start migrating over. So it includes the front end, the mediation server, uh, the monitoring server, the edge, the reverse proxy, et cetera. So you're getting the entire Skype for Business under the covers. Besides that includes specialized tools, which provide for Active Directory synchronization between all the Active Directories. And along with that, a set of tools for managing it, backup, restore, that make your experience with the product easy to manage and provide a single pane to manage it. Along with that comes the gateway interconnect and the 
SBC or Session Border Controller interconnect to the telco. So for those of you that have existing on-prem telephony coming in, either PSTN or SIP trunks, we'll be taking them into this device and then importing them so calls can flow in to Cloud PBX. One of the things that we want to make sure that we do when this happens is the call control will be through Cloud PBX. As Dan mentioned before, it is an IP PBX. So the call control, I have a call, it comes in, I have a call for Dan, it comes into Cloud PBX. Cloud PBX says, oh, Dan is on-prem. So the call control, the setup, goes to, through the cloud and then back to Dan. Voice will go straight from the device on-prem, the cloud bond on-prem to Dan. So voice stays local while call control goes through the cloud. This way, Cloud PBX is aware of the call, but there's none of the voice impairments of taking the call and putting it over the network and bringing it down. Along with that, there's a full line of phones that work with this product. So they work with Cloud PBX, they work with CloudBond. What this provides you is an experience where the users can have high definition voice, HD voice, and participate in the Microsoft experience using these phones. Microsoft came out with a way of encoding voice. They called it Silk. Actually, that came from Skype. When they purchased Skype, they got Silk um, and they incorporated in Skype for Business. And it provides them with a codec that gives high definition voice for the users. So as a call comes to this user, you pick it up and you have the rich voice experience where it's clear voice quality, and you hear sounds crisply and cleanly and not as tinny as a regular voice telephony system. Along with that, with these phones, there's the experience of better together over ethernet. I don't know about you. For me, since I've started using back in the day, OCS, actually we started off with LCS, but from OCS onward, I almost got out of the habit of dialing the number. That's what it's like today. We're used to clicking into a user and say, dial this person. So by putting a phone on and what we have to click in and dial the numbers, that's kind of anti-Skype um, for Business modality. So the idea is within Skype for Business, I'm able to click on a user and say, I want to call Dan, and I want to call Dan using my handset at which point my phone will ring, I'll pick it up, and I'll be talking to Dan over the phone, having the same HD voice experience I would have if I had a very good expensive headset. Along with the other features that are there, so this phone today works with Cloud PBX, it works with CloudBond, and it works with Skype for Business on-prem. Today, we're still running um, a management server on CloudBond. So with CloudBond is included a phone management system. I'm not sure how many of you have deployed phones, but when deploying phones, the number one headache is how do you get the phones deployed? Well, there's a management tool to do that. But the real problem is not day one, it's day two. How do I manage the phones? How do I get the updates to the phones? How do I see which phones are online and which ones have, I don't know, been unplugged or um, have lost power, whatever it is. And I wanna be able to manage those phones or set parameters on them. With this tool, you're able to manage all the phones seamlessly. So you're able to download, up, download upgrades to the phones across an entire mass of phones. You can select all of them. You can select like groups of phones, schedule the update, and when it's completed, it will let you know. It gives you an easy management interface for handling the phones and a real-time dashboard, which is showing you the current status of all the phones in the network.
Now today, we have a promotion going on where with CloudBond, we have several different offers for CloudBond. So CloudBound, as I mentioned before, is really Skype for Business under the covers. It's Skype for Business Standard Edition. And we offer today three different versions of CloudBound depending on scalability requirements. So we look at scalability and interconnectability. On the top two lines of our product, we're offering free handsets so we're bundling two free handsets and the phone manager with it. So you can get not only the cloud bond, but the handsets for the rich voice experience. And the reason too is so you have the great voice experience and you're able to judge it on the handsets. And by the way, if you do this, it's an amazing experience. What you do is you just dial from handset to handset, you have a conversation, you listen to the voice quality, and then make the next call to the telco or the PSTN. And the PSTN is a normal 64 KB channel uh, that is traditional voice. And you'll hear right away the difference between the rich voice experience that you get with HD and narrow band voice that is in the telco today. So with this, you're able to scale um, up to thousands of users on this product today. So it's offered on three different platforms. If you take a look at them, uh, one of them involves the telco interfaces hardware. The others look at telco interfaces software. And there's also coming out shortly a virtual edition where you'll be able to stand this up on your server form and be able to run it yourselves. So with that, I'd like to uh, thank you for your time and attention before I hand this back over to Dan and for sticking with it. Back to you, Dan. Okay, I surprised you. I know I did it a slide too early. I just saw that. Okay, um, this is the summary where we take a look at uh, what is CloudBond it's enabling you to get to cloud PBX today. So we're combining the power of Skype on-prem with Skype in the cloud. And with this, you can start the migration today. In the slide deck, there will be links to resources that you can get further information. Again, thank you. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for that overview of CloudBond. Um, greatly appreciate it. Excellent information and uh, looking forward to um, uh, talking with you all now a little bit about NCS, um, National Communication Services, Inc., but everybody just refers to us as NCS. We are a solutions integrator, a Microsoft solutions integrator specializing in uh, Microsoft communications uh, competency or technologies, so essentially Link, Skype for Business, but we are also a cloud, uh, a cloud provider uh, for Microsoft, so we specialize in Office 365 and other uh, Microsoft cloud technologies. Um, a little bit about our company. Um, we are essentially uh, pretty much 100% centered on Microsoft solutions um, and technologies across the board. We are a company that's headquartered in Bellevue, Washington, actually just about a mile and a half from Microsoft's main campus in Redmond, Washington, uh, here in the greater Seattle metro area. Um, 25 years in business, actually, it will be 26 years in business coming June, so we've got an anniversary just around the corner and we're excited about that. We do have an alter ego, so in addition to being a Microsoft Gold Communications partner, we are also a Microsoft supplier and on-site vendor. So we staff full-time technical resources at Microsoft in a variety of capacities, many within Microsoft's own IT organization. Um, and and, and as, as I mentioned before, you know, we really are classified by Microsoft as a unified communications solutions integrator. And I'll talk about, a bit more about that in just a moment. And we have a variety of uh, certified professionals on staff in the areas of Windows Server, Skype for Business, Exchange, SharePoint, Office 365, Azure, 
and so on. As an online services partner, uh, we also focus, uh, as I mentioned, Office 365, of course, and I'd mentioned um, uh, Azure, but also uh, Microsoft's Enterprise Mobility Suite, which is centered on uh, bring your own device and um, uh, uh, identity and, and things like that. So, um, you know, we, we, we have a, a, an end-to-end -end partner ecosystem, which I'm going to share with you on the next slide, and it really uh, enables us to round out uh, our solution set as we deploy Microsoft technologies. So, for example, um, you know, my, I mean, Microsoft itself, the Skype for Business is really essentially software. Um, cloud PBX is a hosted PBX, but what about the other pieces that go along with that, like the cloud bond and the headsets and the telephones and so on? So, we have a, a partner ecosystem that's focused on, on that. For 2016, um, we are focused on quite a few, several initi initiatives, you know, in terms of growing our business. We uh, deliver managed services, professional services, and a variety of other uh, uh, offerings uh, from a services perspective. Um, we're also very focused on doing Link and Skype for Business and Cloud PBX education series similar to this webinar today. We're very focused on our employees. We're passionate about what we do, and uh, we're, we're we're very keenly focused on on again Microsoft as our as our core uh, solution set that we bring forward to our customers. From an end-to-end -end partner ecosystem perspective, as I mentioned before, Microsoft, uh, Skype for Business, Cloud PBX, it really is kind of just software. So how do we round that out? We need to bring SIP trunking into the equation for on-premise deployments. We need endpoints uh, for for things like uh, phones and headsets and um, uh, self-service applications, integrated voice response, contact center, uh, gateways, uh, session border controllers, things like that. So we really focus on an end-to-end -end partner ecosystem that is 100% Microsoft qualified, meaning that Microsoft has essentially certified each one of these organizations' um, solutions to integrate seamlessly with the Microsoft ecosystem. From a services perspective, we focus on uh, IT outsourcing and staffing, project management and service delivery. We're very, uh, we, we place a lot of focus on project management and service delivery, or a strong emphasis, I should say. Um, you know, ongoing proactive support and service for all of our uh, customers that have on-premise deployments. We provide 7x24, 365 monitoring, server patching and updating, and so on. So really a complete end-to-end -end turnkey solution for our customers, whether they be an on-premise deployment purely, a cloud-based deployment purely, or someplace in between, which would categorize as a hybrid-based solution. Some key session takeaways from today are, uh, you know, Microsoft, um, you know, there, there's a lot of pieces to this, as you can see, right? Do I go hybrid? Do I go all in? Is there some point in between where, you know, I can, uh, you know, start to move my premise-based um, uh, uh, deployment or users up to the cloud, for cloud PBX? And as you can see, there's a lot of variables that are involved with making that decision. And so, you know, a Microsoft Certified Solutions Integrator can really help you um, understand what your options are and develop an overall, you know, end-to-end -end solution strategy and, and roadmap. So, you know, taking a hybrid approach to cloud PBX is probably the most logical path, sort of dip your toe in the water versus jumping all in initially. But there are scenarios, that, as I mentioned earlier, where jumping all in might make sense. But again, uh, you know, the hybrid approach is what we would eventually, what we would see probably uh, most often at this stage in the game. And that's where audio codes really um, would come into play uh, from the cloud bond perspective, as Peter had shared um, before. You know, overall Skype meetings, you know, they can help lower total cost of ownership. There are some low hanging fruit, as I mentioned before, the ability to leverage uh, Skype meeting broadcast is something you can deploy right away if you are a current Office 365 subscriber with an E1, E3, or E5 SKU. So there's a, an immediate opportunity to see some return on investment. And, um, you know, new PST and conferencing and, and meeting broadcast capabilities, well, as I mentioned, they're, they're available in the E1, E3, and E5 SKU. So sorry for being redundant there. How can NCS help? You know, we can certainly help you uh, in a variety of uh, areas in terms of understanding what your various options might be and, and how to put that roadmap in place. We do offer, as part of your attending this session today, a free uh, consultation on-site at your location. And if 
it's geographically not feasible, we'd be happy to do that using the technology and we set up a Skype for Business online meeting with you to uh, uh, discuss your, your environment and how Cloud PBX might be able to benefit your organization. So do take us up on that offer. Send an email to info at ncsoffice.com if you have any questions. And please do respond um, to our survey at the end of this webinar, which Greta will talk about in just a few moments. Um, you know, you do have some other options that, uh, that are available to you as well. If you happen to be a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement customer uh, where you have volume licensing in place, you might have an opportunity to leverage vouchers for Skype and Exchange deployment planning services. Um, so there's some opportunities there. Microsoft also has a variety of programs as it pertains to um, um, uh, Skype for Business deployments, Cloud PBX deployments, um, Office 365 migrations, where uh, they have some fast track funding that may be available to you. So that's something that we can help you navigate as, as well. Um, I did want to point out that we have a copy of a white paper that we co-authored with audio codes. It's called To Cloud or Not To Cloud. Uh, we can certainly make that available to you at your request. And you can also find that on our website at www.ncsoffice.com. And with that, uh, from a resource perspective, there is our website. You can also find out additional uh, information at skypepreview.com. And if you are more technically inclined, go check out skypeforbusinessinfo.com. And with that, I'd like to hand this back over to Greta Carlson. I wanna thank you very much for your time today. Uh, Greta, please take it away. Thank you very much, Dan, and many thanks to Peter from Audio Codes as well. Today's presentations were both valuable and informative, and we appreciate the time and expertise of our presenters for discussing these communication solutions with us. And as a thank you to all of today's participants, we will be raffling off several sponsored products from Sennheiser and Audio Codes. Sennheiser is a valued partner to National Communication Services, providing well-designed microphones, headsets, and audio hardware to a global marketplace. Sennheiser has sponsored three high-quality, brand-new products to our web seminar today. First, we have the Sennheiser SP20ML. It is a premium, portable speakerphone designed for mobile business professionals in both personal and small group conferences. It is compatible with a range of devices for optimal accessibility. Second is the Presence UCML Premium Headset, ideal for mobile unified communications professionals using Skype for Business who require consistently excellent HD sound and HD voice clarity around the office, in the car, and outdoors. Third, we have a Certified for Skype for Business MB Pro 2 UCML. This premium Bluetooth headset is perfect for unified communications business professionals who demand wireless communication freedom, brilliant sound quality, and exceptional wearing comfort. It also features an ultra noise canceling microphone equipped with a single channel noise reduction system. Last, but certainly not least, our featured partner Audio Codes has sponsored a $50 Nordstrom's gift card for the attendees of today's web seminar. You heard from Peter earlier about the communication solutions that Audio Codes offers, and NCS is proud to partner with them today for this Skype for Business Cloud PBX presentation. Now, in order to be eligible to win these fabulous prizes from Sennheiser and Audio Codes, you must fill out and submit an evaluation form that was sent electronically to everyone who registered for today's web seminar. During the presentation, a link to the evaluation form was emailed to everyone attending this broadcast please check your inbox for an email with the subject line, Web Seminar Evaluation Form, which will have come from the sender, National Communication Services. Once again, the email subject line is Web Seminar Evaluation Form, and included in the body of the message is a link to the online feedback page. Please fill out the short five-question evaluation form and send it back to us within the next 30 minutes in order to be entered to win one of the four prizes we are raffling off. We want to ensure that everyone attending today's live event has an opportunity to enter the raffle, but do not delay because the window to enter closes only a half hour after this broadcast ends. Again, if you have any questions regarding survey logistics, raffle prizes, or information about any of today's presented content, please email NCS at info at ncsoffice.com, info at ncsoffice.com and we will respond immediately to your requests. 
If you would like to reach either Dan or Peter to discuss the NCS and audio code solutions that they presented today in more detail, please feel free to send a message to their direct email addresses listed here. We will be posting the recording of this web seminar to the NCS website in the next 24 hours. The URL is simply ncsoffice.com. You can find the link to our website in the upper right-hand corner of this Skype meeting broadcast webpage. A link to ncsoffice.com is also embedded in the evaluation form email that was sent to everyone a few minutes ago. On behalf of National Communication Services, I would like to thank you all for your time and attention today. We hope you found the content valuable and informative and look forward to connecting with everyone again on our digital events in the future. Enjoy the rest of your day and thanks again.